Today was the first day that I went and did a morning shift on Wednesday. One of our, one of my coworkers, he put in his uh, resignation for final day of August. His final day was really a couple days before, but it's fine. Um, but we now have the new person, so we're we rearranged the schedule some, and now I am opening on Wednesdays. And it's probably going to be, like, fairly regularly. So, from seeing what I can see, it's going to be at least the next few Wednesdays. So, I should be able to start working on uh, the vlogs getting caught up soon. I don't know exactly when, but it'll definitely be this month, which is exactly what I hoped for. Um, you know, but, given how m the schedule looks, and the fact that trucks are not getting any smaller, um, it might be a slow burn. I'm probably gonna, like, have to dedicate a day to working on it, and it'll either be a Tuesday or a Thursday, depending on what I have available. But for now, I'm excited because Wednesdays are, like, nice and relaxed in the morning for the most part, so I don't have to worry about a damn thing, and I can get home and not be super exhausted. So, I'm going to continue to do that, and uh, see what I can work out. And if I get nothing, I get nothing, but I have six different things going on right now, so. As far as, like, video stuff that I want to work on, so. Baby steps, one thing at a time. I, um, I ended up sleeping a lot of the day away, not feeling great. Um, it is what it is. It's gonna happen every now and again, but I just felt kind of crappy. So I, uh, I slept until, like, almost three. And then I've just been relaxing and trying to feel better since dinner's soon-ish, but I think I'm just gonna go right to bed afterwards because, one, I have truck tomorrow, too. I don't feel great, so... Yay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna like say anything. I'm just gonna be like, hey, and then go. So I tried the shoes on the truck today and they actually did pretty good. Um, basically they, like I said, they have big soles. So that helped a lot with the, uh, the floor. Because the floor had a lot of, um, it, it's like straight concrete. So having these big soles helps a lot with that. Because there's more between my foot and the floor, so I'm not feeling the floor as much as I used to. So I'm going to keep using these. Um, and, you know, try to, like, not hurt myself at work anymore. Um... Hopefully they just continue to be good, which I fail to see why they wouldn't, but yeah, I'm happy with them. They were a good purchase. Hi, welcome to Saturday. So it was a friend of mine's birthday, so he got a bunch of different friends together to hang out, play some stuff together, and, and just enjoy, celebrate. Um... So, when I got there, it was after work, it was around 10.30, and uh, we played this newer Jackbox game called Rumorang. And Rumorang is interesting. Um, basically, when you get into the game, you put in your name, and it gives you a couple of different like character traits that you pick from, and you basically have to like embody that character trait as you go through the prompts and what um one of the ones that came up which is the one that I personally found the funniest was um uh, Lucas the guy whose birthday it was he got likes corporate slogans or jingles or whatever and then just half of his prompts were like quoting old late 90s early 2000s commercials 
and everybody had a blast seeing them and uh, getting a laugh out of them. So it was definitely a, a worthwhile evening. One that I, frankly, hope we could do again sometime, even without a birthday, because it was fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. I definitely want to uh, play some more. I know Jordan and Patrick have a lot of the Jackbox packs, so we should be okay on that front. But we'll see how uh, we'll see how that goes. I definitely want to play more. I worked on a thing, and I want to show you. So I have here Future Connected Part One and Future Connected. Part two. These are the some of the final VODs that haven't gotten put out yet. And now they're scheduled. They come out later this month. Uh, in fact, the final um, uh, Future Connected comes out on September 27th. So by the end of this month, I'll be mostly caught up. I have a checklist with Torna and... Um, Future Connected VODs that are coming out, and then I also have other stuff that I'm missing, which are like Persona, Thousand Year Door, and then the Spider-Man stream. Presumably one more Spider-Man stream, because that'll probably be the finale, and then whatever comes after, I'm starting to feel Tears of the Kingdom, probably, because um, I never finished it. I got two of the four champions, and kind of just sat it down for a year, for no real reason. So I'm gonna try to get back to that and try to enjoy the rest of it, because <laughs> I didn't even get all of the memories. Ugh. But in any case, I have Future Connected. Future uh, Connected is like the last thing before I can start working on Xenoblade 3. Xenoblade 3, I think, is the last, like, way overdue. Oh, I guess I do have the one Xenoblade 2 New Game Plus stream. But other than that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm almost there. Um, definitely worth, um, definitely worth it because it's just been weighing on me and now it's one less thing to worry about. So I'm gonna get those out as soon as I can and hopefully things will be good. So I was at work while this was happening, but Apple did a, uh, their yearly September presentation showing off the iPhone 16 and the 16 Plus and the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max. It Honestly, it's very underwhelming, especially on the side of the Pros, because a lot of the stuff that are coming with the 16 are also there on the 16 Pro, which is normal. There's not enough going on with the pros to make it feel like, oh, yeah, this is worth the extra money. So, like, I'm probably going to skip this generation. Like, obviously, I, I have this. I've only had it for about a year. Uh, but it's like, this is just very underwhelming. There was some neat stuff, like the AI stuff, the um, which is basically just smarter Siri, and then, um, then some of the camera stuff is neat, but not enough to sell me. Because, again, there just weren't a lot going on. <laughs> so it just was very underwhelming. Very, very underwhelming. But... The 17 Pro uh, rumors started coming out, and those are looking interesting, so I sh will probably, um, I will probably look into that as that starts coming. Uh, I had Jordan help me with the thing today, and I wanna, I wanna show you what that is. So this is the typical stream layout and this is like the default colors i usually recolor it based on the game i'm playing 
But what I had him help me with was a special version of it. This has room for three different screens. And the intention here is to be able to play Wii U games. There are a few Wii U games that I want to play, and they rely on the gamepad. Now, the problem with that is that uh, with the traditional 16x9, there's no way to show what's going on on the gamepad. Um, so, we had to troubleshoot that and set up a way to display the gamepad as well. Chances are, whatever I'm playing is probably going to be done on an emulator. So it's not, like, going to be, like, perfect. But it's definitely going to be better than not showing it at all. Especially on a game like Xenoblade X, where everything is on the gamepad. Like, if we get a re-release of it that fixes that issue, because uh, it would kind of have to, uh, then it wouldn't be as bad. But, you know, the way it is now, it definitely needs some kind of uh, indicator, because, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rough. Anyway, I'm excited to have that, and thank you, Jordan, for helping me with that. Um, but that's really all that happened today, so I'm gonna call it here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.